next out is set for three. Two and then rounds of stand and strike action to be contested in the 68 kilogram weight class. Introducing to you first and fighting out of the blue corner. Sunny, five feet nine inches tall, weighing in officially at 68 kilos. At 21 years of age, he comes to us representing the Eagle Kickboxing Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kishore Moore. his opponent and fighting out of the red corner. Sunny, six feet tall and weighing in officially at 68 kilos. At 21 years of age, he comes to us, represents him, 360 in Our last stand and strike contest of the evening, 68 kilogram division, three two minute rounds between Kishmore Moores in the black and gold shorts, fighting out of the blue corner from the Eagle Kickboxing Academy, taking on Christopher Radcliffe. In the black, grey and orange Tiger Muay Thai shorts, fighting out of 360 MMA. There's been some really, real contrasting kind of nature of the kickboxing bouts we've seen. We've seen some slower ones, some fast ones, some big finishes. Always interesting to see how these things pan out. Radcliffe looks a huge dude at 68 kilograms. Oh, lands a nice. Nice straight right, Radcliffe landed. More, Moore's answers back, excuse me. Beautiful fleet-footed work from our referee Mark Woodard there. It's like a young Fred Astaire. Moore's landing nice and fast hands from Moore's flicks to kick upwards. Big reach advantage from Radcliffe, I'd assume. Looking at their frames. Probably needs to just stay on this outside and get some low kicks going because you just saw the hand speed of Kishmore Moores then. Oh, beautiful body shot from Moores. Stepped in with a lot of venom. Straight in the chest. Radcliffe very tight with his technique. Nice body kick on the end from Moores. Moores backing up a little bit. Radcliffe comes forward. Real back and forth round this day. Very evenly matched. Yeah, I think Moores was definitely warming into that towards the end of the round. Most to me seems to have the faster hands, Dave. Yeah, beautiful hand speed from Moores. Three punch combination then. Nice low kick from Radcliffe. Radcliffe, very technical for me, Dave. This is the problem for Moore's Ben, this range. See, Moore's wasn't hit in the last, you know, sort of 10, 15 seconds there, but in the judge's eyes, he's being pushed back to the cage. And his hands are so fast. You know, it's difficult for for them to pick out some of these shots when they're that close together. Just think, maybe if he starts initiating a bit more like this. Oh, 
got to be careful over extending like that. Very nearly caught a straight right for his troubles. Nice counter. A lot of close exchanges in this one for me, Dave. Yeah, and like I said, when it's this close, you know, will the judges default to the guy that's marching forward? That, that's the question I've got. Um, yeah, very difficult one for the officials here. As we always say, impossible to judge a fight from a commentary position. Christopher Ratcliffe, taller of the two fighters. In the grey and orange tie shorts, taking Keshmore Moors, black and gold tie shorts. Really not a lot in this one, Dave. Very close on these exchanges, but you make a good point that Ratcliffe coming forward and maybe landing the cleaner of the strikes. Not by much, mind. No, I'm not even sure he is landing the cleaner strikes, but he's, he's certainly coming forward. Beautiful low kick from Radcliffe. That's a weapon that Moore seems to have abandoned a bit as the fight's gone on. The body kick had some good success with first round. Nice hand speed there from Moore's. Technical exchanges these days. Nice work in this round from Radcliffe. Probably That's Radcliffe's a, best round, if you're being honest. Yeah, definitely had some good success with the kicks. Managing to track his man down. Ten seconds cold. Nip and tuck at the final bell. Fighters embrace. Tough one for the judges. Two very contrasting styles.